my name is Emily Tianxi, and I'm from the FTC team, the Clueless 11212. Today is the San Diego kickoff day for the 2018 to 2019 season. We are at the San Diego Balboa Parks um, Air and Space Museum, and I'll be taking you through what happened today. I found the new mystery mat. I wonder what's inside. This is the guys of the this. They won the World Championships a couple years ago. So, what are your predictions on the game this year? Um, one of our predictions this year is that it's going to be using a relic because it's a really fun and kind of innovative piece. So here's Green Griffins. They are famous for their amazing craft designs and Chalkwave, who were our main alliance partners. What do you think the impact of the weight limit is on the game this year? So, um, I think, so the weight limit is definitely over what we've built in our robots so far, and I know we tend to build robots that go kind of toward the washing machine range of robots. So I think that this weight limit is kind of a trial run for years to come, and they're actually going to narrow it as time goes on. This is definitely a trial run. Personally, I think it actually has more to do with the field elements than it's I might have to get out these five-inch monster wheels here. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> think they're climbing. A couple boots here about our last year's robot from Relic Recovery and answering some questions for the Ricky team. So there's a couple of same way and more experienced teams here. Last year's season was being able to pick up clips in any orientation. So this spot plug out here, it's fine. So I can pick up two
opportunities for events like live scoring and helping with scouting. Uh, so it's it's great because I can do some software engineering um, as part of that and also contribute to the first community. Thank you. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Danilo. Hello. I've also been a part of Team Angel 97 Botcats and I've actually been in the first program for I'd say six or seven years now. And first has impacted me both in that I love engineering, I love technology, I see this world from a different perspective, and also showed me the leadership and organization that first and similar programs employ.